I'm Randall Barney. We're here at CAPSAT speaking with WTA members about satellite solutions and technologies and how they're meeting the needs of their customers today and in the future. Well, first of all, uh, to know a customer is uh, to listen to the customer. To listen to the customer requirements, uh, for what type of application the customer needs a solution, and then after that to sit together with the customer uh, directly face to face in order to find a solution for his requirement. You know, it's always listen and acting. Yeah. And um, after that, usually we sit, after we have, we have, we know what the customer wants, we internally at RF Design sit together and looking for a, a commercially based solution that fits the customer needs, both technically and economically. Well, um, first of all, most of our sales are important because all of our customers are important. Um, as we are a medium-sized company, uh, I would say 35% of our sales still are custom-built solutions where we have the flexibility to react on a customer demand and to be flexible enough to find a solution for his needs. Um, a very good example, for example, is we do a, a very type of variations of uh, L-band matrices, off-the-shelf products like our FlexLink series, but also custom-built products. And one of our best customers for um, custom-built uh, L-band matrices actually is SES. Uh, Luxembourg. Um, just recently, I think it was 2014, we have we have got a, a requirement from them, out of Luxembourg, to get from them a 64 by 8 matrix, matrix, but they had some special requirements for the matrix, both technically but also economically. And our CTO Ralph Meyer, who is also the owner of the company, was in, in close contact with uh, with their with their engineering team to evaluate what are their needs, technically and economically. And once we found the need, we set up a technical proposal and made a respective quote for that, and we got, we got the deal done. And fortunately, we, we just a couple of years, a year later, they wanted to have the same one, but with another, with another configuration, instead of a 64 by eight, it was a 128 by eight, another three pieces. So it's all about understanding the customer's needs and demands technically and finding a solution which fits the customer's needs and demands economically and technically. And that a little bit, I would say, uh, differs us from some of our competitors, having the flexibility to, be, to build custom-built RF distribution stuff. The custom-built solutions, I mean, we do RF distribution gear. We don't do rocket science. Most of the solutions we have in our shelf. I mean, it's, it's not rocket science, as I said before. Um, having that in mind, when, when we do custom build solutions for customers and vice versa, we're getting demands from, our, from other clients, we try to, to, to fit also the demand from other clients and see, hey, could the custom build solution we did for another client before also be a solution for that client? And then we, we, it becomes a serious product. Um, for example, like we do what you see behind you, uh, the, the outdoor RF over fiber system, which we call uh, FiberLink ODA, is a custom-built outdoor solution. We, we currently have built for HorizonSat for their new teleport, which is in Mosburg, Germany. I think you've been, here, been there also. Uh, the reason why we built that solution was because we supplied RF, RF, RF over fiber indoor for their teleport before. So they know, or they knew, that we can do custom build stuff. They came back to us, and now we build that for them. And it, at the same time, we found that the market at all needs outdoor application RF over fiber systems, and now it becomes a serious product. Well, as said before, I mean, I, I think I already answered that question with, with, with my answer before, as said before. A custom built product easily in our, in our particular type of business can become a serious product. Sometimes we have to change something, sometimes we have to adopt some, something, but mostly our custom built product becomes serious products unless it's an OEM custom built products like we do for Viaset in the US. Yeah.